Hello! It is uh, week two of here at Vlogger. Well, I say week two, it's like the second week two because the first week two was three years ago, but it's like week two B. Anyway, okay, this week's uh, topic is superheroes and superpowers, and if we were a superhero, what superpower we would have. And uh, yesterday and the day before, you saw some really great, funny videos from Molly and Josh, so now I have to come up with something good. I think the one go-to superpower I always kind of reach for when people ask is um, invisibility. Because I think you cannot go wrong with in invisibility. Um, it's one of those superpowers that just gets better and better no matter what. And here are my reasons as to why I'd be invisible. First of all, I am pretty small. I, I, I'm five foot, I'm, I'm puny and weak and I would not survive in a fight. Anyone could take me down. And me, feasibly, the only way I could get out of a fight and survive is if I could slip away unnoticed. Because I, I mean, I couldn't outrun someone, I couldn't fight someone. I'd be invisible. And that would get me out of there and I'd still live. And that's one of my main priorities. So that's the first reason. The second reason is the intel you could gather. I feel like I'd be one of the most useful members of the team. I mean, you, you, can, you can just go and eardrop on people's conversations. They'd never even have to know that you were there. It's stuff like that. That's, that's pretty good. And it's not as intrusive as kind of mind reading. I feel like mind reading is a bit too morally ambiguous for me. Like, uh, am I allowed there? Whereas if I'm invisible, it's like, it's fair game, you know? It's, it's like bugging a place, but I'm a witness instead. So that's fine. And I think my third and final reason as to why I'd be invisible is uh, the free stuff and just how easy life would be. I mean, firstly, just like day-to-day -day life would be great because you wouldn't have to bother with people coming up to you. You know when you're going down the street and you can s see someone's going to try and sell you something and you try and avoid them, but they, they kind of grab you. Well, if you were invisible, no problem. They wouldn't even see you in the first place. So, that, like, one of the biggest problems in my life would be solved right there. Um, yeah, in general, if you're walking around your house and you want to go to the kitchen but you don't want to have to see your brother, you can just go to the kitchen, invisible. Uh, if, if you were, like, wanted to follow a bad guy into a club or something like this, this is more like work related follow a bad guy into a club and there were like huge bouncers who were, were getting in your way and would stop you well no problem you're invisible can't stop you now you just slip through there see and that would help you with your intel gathering so i feel like invisibility is definitely the option to go for even if it's not as inventive as uh some of josh's ones but i'm not as creative as you josh unfortunately I really liked Molly though how you explained how you got your superpower and I was kind of thinking okay how would I how would I become invisible and then I kind of realized because it's me it would have to be something um really stupid as in I upset some sort of witch or or, or someone important and, and to, to kind of get their own back they they cursed me and now I became invisible and then at first I was really angry and like an angsty teenager and I got mad and I kind of used my invisibility to steal and and commit crimes without being noticed. But then you guys found me and you kind of showed me that there's more to life than getting free food via invisibility and kind of turned me into a good guy. Um, so that would be, that would me be my backstory and how I got onto our team of superheroes. If we were some sort of Avengers style Vlogger Alliance gang. And this is nearly four minutes, so I'm going to go. I can't wait to see you next week. Love you guys. Bye.